Okay. Um, so preliminar preliminarily, I, I would say that we were very fortunate. I know everybody in Central Ohio. We had an unbelievable rainstorm yesterday, but it's probably better that we had it here uh, rather than in, right in Southern Ohio because if we had had what we were expecting, um, which was a, a deluge in these areas that are particularly vulnerable with a lot of fast-moving water, it would have been a, a really a big, big problem. Uh, not that we're clear and not that there, was, there hasn't been damage, but fortunately, because of the good work of some of the emergency management people uh, here in the state, and, uh, and to just give you a couple names, uh, Kim Carver down in, uh, was she in Scioto County, uh, had the foresight to put in what's called these floodgates uh, that protected uh, some of our communities. Uh, this, this was, we were ahead of the game here. I have to, not because I'm so great, but we had good people here. And the local folks said, look, we should get the floodgates, uh, get them placed, and it will protect people. And I think I received that call, uh, it was about five days ago, Kim, when, when I was called. So because of their work, um, we have seen limited damage to the communities. Uh, but we're not done yet. I mean, if you take Marietta, Marietta is in a, a situation now where it's cresting, but they're, they're optimistic about that. Um, so we may have dodged a big one. That doesn't mean that emergency management is not going to be active. We've got to take a look at damage to infrastructure. Uh, we've got to you know, do full assessments. But the good news is for a lot of people, not everybody, but for a lot of people, is uh, they, they're either in their homes, they return to their homes, and there's been minimal damage to them. So we breathe a, a sigh of relief. This is the uh, emergency operations center. Some of you have been here before, whether there's big snows, whether there's tornadoes, whether there is flooding, this is where the full staff operates. You've been out and around here and seen all the terminals and the people. These are hardworking people, and uh, we work uh, really as a, uh, as a group. We have the head of public safety here. We have uh, uh, Sima runs the operations center. We have, of course, our National Guard. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a coordinated thing along with the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, this facilitates the working together, but uh, we'd be working together whether we had this building or not. But fortunately, this is a great asset for the state of Ohio. So the good news is um, damage, yes, infrastructure damage, but to people, loss of life, no loss of life. Uh, we may have gotten away with one here, but you never, you never can take Mother Nature for granted. You never know what uh, she might dish up tomorrow. But right now, we feel uh, pretty good. Anything something you want to add? Um, to echo the governor's comments, I would agree. Um, Ohio was in a bullseye. And then as we continue to watch river gauges in the weather, um, it moved north. Um, precipitation was less. So we dodged a bullet. We do have cleanup. We do have um, response efforts winding down, recovery moving forward. So. Um, Ohio fared fairly well so far. We have a lot of work still to be done. Any questions? It kind of covers it, to tell you the truth. Anything you want to ask? A lot of credit to the local people for being ahead of the game. That's really the key to this. When local people who are in power positions who can really uh, impact an outcome longer term, getting ahead of things, always really important. and. Uh, you know, so anybody that comes next into this job, you've got to always be thinking about what's coming tomorrow, or even not just tomorrow, but maybe even next week, and begin to prepare. Because preparation will save you a lot. And I don't know if you've ever had water in your home, but, uh, you know, once it's there, I'm not sure you ever get it out. And it's very, very difficult. So uh, a lot of kudos for those folks who really manage this the right way. You know, a lot of times people look at government officials and bureaucrats and they roll their eyes and all that. This is one of those times when people who are there responsible for safety, for lives, did one heck of a good job. And we'll stay on this until the, the sun shines bright and we can welcome spring. And by the way, it, it certainly appears as though spring is in a giant tug of war and as spring is beginning to yell to winter, 
get off the stage, okay? And we're all so grateful for that. Thank you all.